Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Zeal Gears. Since last time, I sold all of my excess equipment, so we've got a pretty good supply of money. I would like to get up to 900 grand by the time we get access to the world map again. But I think we can do that. Uh, let's see. One thing I want to do here, I want to equip the Death Blower for Envari there. That'll help out against a particular battle we can get into here. And let's see. Oh, yeah. I refueled Ramazio off screen there. So we're all set and ready to go. So let's take a look around. See if we can't find that anima relic around here. Oh, right. That's not a chest. That's a rock. It's no moon. But all right, we got new enemies here. Uh, I think they're called Croker Tribe, Cloaker Tribe, something or other, whatever it is. Let's just nuke them. Now, this battle would be more easily and efficiently handled if you had Emeralda in your party. Because she can hit all enemies, guaranteed, unlike Ellie. Hey, hey all right. But, yeah, I'd have to upgrade her gear, and I don't want to do that. Now, by the way, we did get uh, fangs and scales from those guys. This is actually one of the really, really good places to farm money in the game, if you decided to do so. I wouldn't do that until a little later. We get an item coming up that will make it a lot easier there. But let's see, what does that new ability we got for Billy there do? I think that's like a, yeah, revival spell. So, hey, hey all right. Not that I'm gonna need it but if i did it would be there but all right let's head on down here first got a couple treasures we can get hmm can't seem to get up there it's too high up if only there were a way i could get all the way across there but you know that jumps just too far well remember that for later viewers for now let's get back up top can i get on the rock I don't know why jumping on that rock was so hard for me, but okay. So the reason I use Flaming Hell to kill those guys is just to kill them more efficiently, even though they can't really damage me that much. So what you're supposed to do here is move that rock out of the way, and then after you push it a little bit, it'll start moving automatically all the way to the end. And once you do that, let's see if I can get out of my gears. There we go got a little passage in there. It's kind of hard to see. So let's see what we got around here. Hmm, got some writing on the walls. Hmm. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. Let's see what the stone pillars say. So we got a little puzzle that we need to do here. And you see on the right there, there's the three holes. We got to find three stones and put them in the holes. That's also a clue for... Finding one of the rocks around here. Because, well, as you can see, there are no rocks around here. We just got these pillars and whatnot. And, let's see, some of the walls and the pillars, they all have some clues as to how to find the rocks around here. Hmm, okay. So I'll just show you how you're supposed to figure all this out, and then I'll just actually do it. I don't know what that means. I don't think that has anything to do with these puzzles. I mean, I know how to solve the puzzle. Hmm. Okay, so that's all we got there. Let's see. Okay, for the first one, you gotta find something that's kind of invisible around here. And, let's see. Okay, there's like an invisible object I'm running into here. You see, I can't even move past it. Examine it. Boom. It drops a rock down, or whatever that thing is, down there. So, yeah, it's kind of hard to find sometimes. I've heard some people say this room glitches out for them, but I've never personally had that problem. Okay, and let's see. They said behind one of the pillars. I think that's this one. Maybe it's the other one. No, it was that one. Okay. So we got the next one. Let's see. If we get on this one, remember they said to use it as a foothold there. Jump on top of the center pillar, if I can. Ha-ha! There's our third rock there. So that's how you're supposed to solve all those things. Nothing too extraordinary there. 
But I suppose if you don't know what, where to look for, it can be a little tricky. Like, the first time I remember doing this one, I... When they said, like, above the pillar or something, I thought they just meant horizontally in the room, not vertically. So I got confused there. What's that sound? There's nothing there. Uh -huh. Hey, hey, all right. Lucky they broke off just, just right there. So, yeah, now we can use those two pedestals as platforms to get to the other side of that room. Hooray! And I want to refuel Veltal, too, because I used Flaming Hell again in the random battle that I edited out there. But, yeah, Flaming Hell does cost a lot, so I don't want to use it too much. But I only use that because that's the only attack that I have that hits all enemies in my current party, and I need these characters for more important things. I wouldn't want to bring Emeralda along just for all those Croker Tribe guys that really aren't that threatening anyway. But all right, okay, so here we got Tusk Tusk. And these guys, let's see, they have, how much, uh, a little over 10,000 HP there. And the thing is, is that two fierce attacks and an ether gun attack from Renmazio isn't quite enough to finish them off. But if I used a fierce attack uh, level 1 Death Blow with the Death Blower accessory. And an Ether Gun attack from Renmazio. Then... That would be good. So that's barely enough to finish them off. Uh, let's see. They got 10,200 HP to be exact. And one nice thing about these guys that also makes this a good place to farm for money. Is that these guys can drop Ivory. Which gives you the best money in the game in exchange for those items, like we did back at Kislev on disc one there. But yeah, all we get are fangs, but, well, we'll find a way to deal with that later. If only there were an item that would make it easier for me to get the more valuable items. Whoa, <laughs> almost uh, fell off that one. If I got into a random battle there, that would have been all over. But all right, let's keep taking a look around. Hmm. Well, I'll just tell you right now, you can't go into the water there. Get out of our gears, because this path is too narrow for them. And you can't fall off the edge there, so don't worry about it. But I do want to go over here. By the way, whenever you get out of your gears and go into one of these places, there's no random battles, so you don't need to worry about that. But I do want to get... Another treasure! Oh, can't see where I'm going! Even if I had the camera angled the right way, it's hard to tell where I'm going. Okay, so for this room, we got these chests here that have hidden pitfalls in front of them. So don't open them from the front. You want to open them from the side. Not that the treasures are any good, but it's there. And let's see what else we got around here. Hmm... Okay, well basically what that means is we got a pitfall here, and you want to hold up while you're falling. Ha ha! So that way you can get into this secret passage. Okay, so let's see, what do we got here? Uh-oh. What's going on? Oh! Maybe we should jump down? Okay, okay, keep looking up! Oh, oh, okay, you got, yeah, there's a hole in the middle. <laughs> yeah. If you tried jumping over to the platform to the right there, it would have said something like, uh, stand your ground or whatever or something like that, giving you a clue that all you're supposed to do is just stand there and it's just the bad camera angles that are making it look like you're actually in any danger. 
Okay, let's see. For this room, this one's a little tricky, but nothing can't handle. Hmm. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. Let's see. Yeah, let's push that one. Although I don't know that I need to do that. I think it, that's like on by default, but you'll see in a moment. Okay, so you see we got this little pit there. The water is full there, and that's a measurement of 10 or whatever. 10 is full, 0 is empty. And now I don't want to press that one. I think there's another clue on the wall here. Okay, so what we're supposed to do is, like that first clue we got there, you want to have a happy medium here, so you want to get the water down to a level of 5. But the thing is, is that we got a button for number 3, and a button here for number 7, and we need to somehow get it to number 5 there. So what I like to do is set the button for three there, and whenever you step on the right switch, it'll lower the water level by whatever number button is active, so whether that's three or seven. So what I want to do is lower it three times like that, so that brought it down to one. And then with seven... I want to raise that to bring it up to 8. Kind of reminded of Die Hard 3. Okay, so we got that. Make it... Your, yeah, hit the th 3 button. And then lower it by 3. Boom! We got our happy medium of 5. Kind of a strange puzzle, but nothing too extraordinary. It looks like there's a door back there. Hmm. And for solving that puzzle... Ha-ha! Yeah, now we can get down there and get some treasure. I'm not sure why that particular water would have been a problem for us, but the game doesn't let you jump down there with your gears. Like, you literally cannot fall off the edge. But all right, if we go into the doorway there, once we've gotten everything taken care of, we can get some more treasure. Not that I'm going to use that, but it could probably sell for decent money. You could have gone to the other side of this tunnel here. But if you tried coming in from this way, then you would have had the rock there, and you wouldn't have been able to get out, or get through there. So that's why I went through this door first. This is where we had that survival tent just a moment ago. But all right, easy enough. Took care of all that. Let's see, just a couple more treasures down below. Now, if you need to refuel, you might want to do that now. Uh, also, if you have Ellie with any equipment on her or Virge, you'll want to remove that from her. This is going to be your last chance to do so. Just a fair warning. Or we could fight another new enemy, Griffon! These guys actually hit really hard, if they actually manage to hit you. Okay, let's see, Griffins here, they're just more powerful versions of the one we've already encountered. They have 7,500 HP. Fortunately, they can't seem to hit the broad side of a barn, or maybe that's just because I got the evasion rings equipped. Aha! Gotcha! Wow, I'm surprised I got out of it unscathed. I mean, that is the reason why I equipped the evasion rings, so I could, you know, evade. But I'm surprised it worked so thoroughly there. And here we get our second ether doubler. Awesome. And I'm going to want to put that to use right away. But first, let's get back here. And let's see. We got our final save point. 
Okay, let's see. So I'm going to make some big changes to my setup here coming up. Okay, I want to get as much ether stat for Faye as I can. Though I'm, I don't want the large ether stone on him. He'll be fine. Let's see. For Bart, I could use some help with my accuracy. So let's equip those on Bart. And that should be good enough. And let's see. Billy, I leave alone. Now for Faye, I'm going to want to equip triple power magic just like before. Let's see. Bart, I'm going to leave alone. And Billy, let's see. Or Renazio. Yeah, I'll just leave that alone too. Well, that went a bit smoother than I thought it would actually. Usually, like, the Griffins will get in some amount of hits, and I might be a little light on HP. I might have had to go back to refuel or heal up my gears or whatever. But I think we're, we're good now. Fortunately, even though this bridge is pretty narrow, we can still get across it in our gears. And you can run into random encounters on this platform here while you're outside of your gears. So you want to be a little careful with that. But all right, well, this site looks familiar. Well, at least we didn't have to go through too many hoops to get to this anima relic, or at least compared to the last one. If it's even here. Maybe they got another trick up their sleeve, I don't know. No boss fight or anything for the anima relic either. Well, yeah, spoiler alert, it's here. What are you doing here, Rico? I thought I left you on the bench. You're supposed to be keeping it warm for us. Get out of my head! Get out of my head! Did it... Work? Oh, well that thing kind of flashes so quickly it's hard to tell, but yeah, Rico's gear gets upgraded to Omni Gear status. Hooray! But I'll never use it anyway, so yeah, I don't really worry about it. Well, that was easy. Let's get out of here then. What are you looking at? What's going on? Whoa! Oh! A hammer? Oh, I got a gear for yourself, huh? Nuts. I don't think so, buddy. Besides, why didn't you go get the animal relic? How hard could he possibly be? Well, she doesn't have an Omni gear. And besides, you wouldn't even be able to use it. You're merged with your own gear now. And besides, if you were sent by Kralion, why did he send you to stop us? For boss time! Like, instead of getting the animal relic himself. Hmm. But alright, this fight is pretty easy. Let's see. For Bart there, let's see. What do I want to do? Hmm. Let's see. Now, Hammer is actually weak to wind. So, let's go put wind mode to use it adds Wind Elemental to your physical attack there. So that's pretty nice. And let's see. Let's go with a regular Jesse Cannon there. By the way, a Hammer, I think, is immune to Wild Smile. At least when I was trying to use it, I couldn't get it to work. So you're better just going with your physical attacks with Envari there. And the others use their Big Ether. Alright, good, good. 
I've had an instance when I was doing my test runs, and for some inexplicable reason, I had a really hard time damaging Hammer with my ether attacks. Like, I would deal zero or almost zero damage for no apparent reason. Well, talk about battling seizure robots. Holy cow. As you can see, they finally started giving bosses enough HP to survive my ether attacks. So, yeah, it'll take a little while to take these guys down, but it's still totally worthwhile. I think Hammer's got like 48,000 HP or something like that. Okay, so once you've dealt enough damage to Hammer, well, if you just sat around and did nothing, he would eventually explode and you'd get nothing for your trouble. But if you can kill him quickly enough, we can get a nice reward for it. Uh-oh. Hmm, maybe I can finish you off with just an ether gun. Or I could have Envar do the job with that death blower. Sometimes I need a little extra help there. Yeah, look at that damage. Eh, physical attacks haven't quite caught up to ethers yet, but we're getting there. We will get there by the time we finish the game. And if you killed him quickly enough, we get the Almighty Trader card. It's uh, an accessory for your while you're on foot, but it works in gears as well. And what it does is it guarantees the rare drop from an enemy. So like those enemies before that had ivory or scales, they will be guaranteed to drop those instead of their weaker items. So that's pretty nice. It's also really useful for getting some other drops that I wanted, or that I will eventually want to get, too. So you definitely want to hold on to that. But yeah, I've heard that if you don't kill Hammer quickly enough, you won't be, he'll explode and you won't be able to get the item. Well, yeah, we kind of knew that. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I don't really feel sorry for the guy for stabbing us in the back, but I guess the music is saying that we should or something. How do you know? He was in his gear. He kind of doesn't have facial expressions anymore. No, I don't think there was any other way around it. What do you mean? So where are we going anyway? Uh, Nissan or something? I don't know. Hey, okay. how's it going? Well, I thought you were angry at Faye. Besides, he's immortal, isn't he? What do you mean? I don't know if I'd call that survival, but okay.
Well, he's not doing a very good job of that. Well, everyone you're, you're leading seems to die. Either by your own hand or by ours. Well, what? That's it? Oh! He's a black mage! Nah. Nah, but... Hmm. Yeah, what was that all about? Well, we'll learn more about that later. So, yeah, the brain guys, they were all pissed off that Kane wouldn't let them use that key. I don't know how you pronounce it. And I guess for some reason, uh, Ramses was able to work around or bypass the Emperor's immortality or something or other. Isn't that bad for you guys? Hmm, I don't know who any of those guys are. Oh, even Krellian has a gear? Huh. How many ammo relics do we got around here, anyhow? Hmm, I've never heard about heard of that one. Oh, who's that? But I thought we already stopped that with the uh, nanomachines and all that. And, like all the treatments and stuff we were doing. So, let's see. Well, that's the key that they wanted to use before that Cain stopped them from using. What, you had it there this whole time? So what's the worst that could possibly happen with that? What howling? That's. How many times do you need to mutate all of humanity, practically? You know, if you needed all these people to become the flesh or body of God or whatever, why did you always try to kill as many people as you can? It doesn't exactly sound like the best plan. Yeah, that kind of rhymes. But yeah, I mean, they tried to... Well, they pretty much tried to nuke every city on the planet, or country. And a lot of them died in Solaris there. Mahanan, Mahanan... However you want to pronounce it. So, I think this is one of the reasons why they haven't given us access to the world map yet. Even though I think it probably would have been easy to do so. But, well, things are changing. And I guess, for whatever reason, they didn't want to make a world map and then 
have to change it again for the disc. I mean, we do get world map access in disc 2, eventually. But until then, some things are changing. Kind of looks like they got, like, an ice continent or something over there. I didn't see any ice in this world. Have you been holding out on me, game? Hmm, have I seen that shape before? Eh, it's probably my imagination. Is it like a floating continent you're making, or what? Hmm, eh, close enough. Well, you might want to clean up the place a little bit. Do a little trimming in the place. So is all of humanity, or most of humanity, gone now? Or become part of whatever you're trying to do? What do you mean? Well, what difference does it make? We don't have anyone to defend anymore. Isn't that pretty much the case with every battle we've gone into? Like, we might not be able to... What is it? Come back alive or whatever? And what are you talking about there, Faye, with her... Well, someone's got to keep an eye on the place. She's our best tactical nuke. Well, she's already here, Faye. Why not? But there's nothing left on the world to dominate. Except, like, the few of us. I doubt they would really care. And besides, if they didn't want us to get the animal relics, why didn't they send their best troops to begin with? If they were so big and bad or whatever. Well, that's what we've been fighting this whole time. I assumed we would just fight more of them. Not anymore. Sure, why not? We've killed plenty of people up to this point. What's a few more? We wouldn't know. Besides, she joined the military of her own free will. I would think she would know she'd have to kill people eventually. Don't forget, she tried to kill you the first time you met Faye. Then again, I could pretty much say that for half the party members in our group. Yeah, that was a little over the top even for my taste in JRPGs. Besides, who died made you God? You're not... Well, I guess you're kind of in charge, just because you're the main character, but... But... Aren't they all, like... Mutated now? I thought that was part of the problem. 
Well, I'm guessing there's still some people that are still alive. Say but again. Yeah, it just seems really odd how he just doesn't want to want her to come along on this mission. Kind of comes out of nowhere. What do you mean? <laughs> not, not, not you, Margie. Uh, we were talking about Ellie and, and all that. <laughs> Besides, wouldn't it be a good idea to not have everyone go on this mission? I mean, what if they all fail, then we have no backup plan? What's she got up to anyway? I don't know. Which self? I have a lot of selves. Well, I don't know. I mean, where did she run off to anyway? Find out next time on Let's Play Zero Gears. This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day. <laughs>